Hello and welcome back to Tharik Plays More Time City of the Damned and welcome back to our Deadly Challenge. Yeah, I mean, as always, <laughs> uh, not much we have to say. Let's just jump right into the action, I guess. Let's New not dilly-dally waste any sort of time. Just see what it's going to be today. Simple as that. I mean, it's business as usual. Will we have to skip an additional day, though? We will! Does that mean I get somebody back in for a change? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just keep everything like it is. We could... Nope, he's gonna be out for three more days, so two more after this now. What else? We don't think we really need to send more, even more words done in there. Oh, wow. Okay, I actually have three deadly missions now, so we can choose the one we like the one uh, we like the most. So both warband strike teams know that one could work. Yeah, I think we'll take this one. But I like the words don't rush here, to be honest. You know what? Yes. I'm gonna take that one one very seriously. We'll switch in Mew Mew, keep Haxit out of this, and I'm gonna go for the Wordstone Rush one, because Marked for Death could work. <sighs> I don't know, though. No, I think Marked for Death could also be okay. We'll have to get a bit lucky there, of course, but it usually still works out, so let's... Let's try the mark for death. I think that's that's a bit safer. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what setup we get. A spy has reported that an enemy warband is hurrying to recover a secret cache of equipment. So we get the strike teams. It's Sisters of Sigmar. No tokens of Sigmar. Also, no, it's it's oh, it's witch hunters. Whoops. Um. But yeah, I don't know. A new what round it'll be. has started. Um, so let's check out. Okay, all the wordstone is in one place. Where's the third group? It's up there. They are right here. The wordstone is down there. Haxit is with the group down there, so that's good. These guys, these guys are in trouble. They need to be very careful. At least we've got Gorzon, Sir Killalot, and Trice up there. That's okay-ish. And these are going to move, I think... Um, down in this direction. Uh, so that we... we see a lot of ground, but we're also hopefully far enough away from them that they won't be able to attack me instantly. All that wordstone down there is really tempting, of course. So let's get him down there right away. A demon would be a bit of a problem now, of course. Um, if all the wordstone is in one place and there is a demon on the map, they tend to be right on top of this. So let's hide him back here. Hopefully they will not come down here. So next round he can just pick up all the clusters in the world, basically. What's our best move here? Yeah, they are pretty far up north. Okay, so now they, they see where I am, basically. So let's do this. Since they know where I am now... Okay, we have one target as well there. Let me... Yeah, I'm just gonna warp poison with him right there, and then we're gonna ambush. Let's throw a poison globe first, up in this direction as well. And then ambush. Yeah, that's a good... It's a decent coverage, and it doesn't put us that far away from our own group back there, so should be fine. Sneak. What do we do with sneak? 
we probably do a similar oh yeah he's right there so I should probably let's set up here I think numbing poison might not do anything but we might as well go for it yeah so we're almost on one line there and I'm just gonna have to wait and see what they're gonna end up going for So right now we'll just, yeah, just, just, really? We can move all over this? That's a surprise. Uh, no, let's actually move him as far up as he can go. Uh, this round, hopefully, we might be able to make use of that next round. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Um, we can't quite know yet where the fight is going to be. We'll just have to hope that the group... Up here will stay hidden for a while. And that they won't come for me. So you go... Down in this direction as well. Yeah, no, let's... let's. I think this is too far south. Let's just go the same way we, we went with Reticate. So through this uh, gap here. Also, this will allow us to cover Reticate at least a little bit in case somebody uh, comes in from over there. But the main body of their warband will get to go shortly. This initiative difference, once again, could be interesting. It could be a problem, of course, as well, depending on when the engagement starts. See, I'm really worried about these guys. I'm gonna delay with him and I'm gonna move him once we've moved past their turns, or most of their turns. I wanna move them back here and then we can come out of here and start attacking them maybe and make it through this side. That's probably the safest route and the one where we're least likely to get spotted since there's buildings between us. So as long as they don't look straight through a doorway, they won't see us. Oh, so hopefully that'll work. I don't know, though. Okay, one more time. So a bunch of them have gone, but we don't see them. Or we didn't see any movement towards us. Which does worry me a bit. It probably means they are further up north than I want them to be. I assume that's what that is going to mean, but I don't... We can't know yet. They might also have jumped down towards the Wordstone. Which we obviously won't know until we... we Take a peek with Haxit next round. Well, we could run somebody down there, of course, to get more vision, but we, once again, don't really want to be spotted. Hmm. So come on. The guy that we saw. Just come closer, please. You see us. Oh, nice. Okay, we did get... There's somebody closer. That's good. So we have two of our three targets already. They might have also moved into this building. That could be a possibility. Okay, yeah, we we know where the 45 is that we saw. He's down there, so we can now move these guys. And see about getting them up here. Yeah, we're basically in their backyard now, but we're still hidden. And hopefully next round we'll have more information about where they are so that I can um, keep moving these guys in a safe way or maybe even get them in there already come on if this guy were to move close to us now that would be nice because otherwise I'm probably gonna spend another round setting things up I don't really want to go in there and attack them while we're, we're under strength but we'll have to wait and see I guess nope um, yeah keep 
keep running. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. I Paraphrase it a little bit. Started. I know, but you'll, you'll forgive me, I'm sure. So let's scavenge here. Sure, we'll take the formula. And then where do you go? We might... Yeah, this seems like a good call, though no, we can... Yeah, this is good. So we can go over to here, get a vital shot. So this gives me another perspective on them, and that shows us our third target as well. But they're all clumped up back there, which confuses me a little bit right now. So I'm not sure what's up with that. And then we are going to put ourselves in the relative safety of going to here. That should keep us pretty safe, I guess. So, Haxit. Anybody home? Nobody. Okay. That means we can now go for all the clusters. And I mean that quite literally this time around. So we're going to go loot all the clusters. And then we're going to move him back to our cart and get rid of all the clusters. And then I'm going to move back down and try to pick up more. Assuming things don't change and we can actually use them in the fight or need to use them in the fight. We should not exclude that distinct possibility. My god, and it's all, it's just one fragment. Everything else is shards and better. That's so good. Okay, let's go back, and one further. Is it okay to climb up here? Yeah, I think this could work. So maybe I'll... Let's just move a bit smaller here. There we go. And I even got the climb, that's nice. That wasn't guaranteed, so I'm happy that we got it. 54% was, not I mean, just about 50%. So, yeah, I really don't want to... I really don't want to deal with this right now, if I can avoid it. So I think we're going to use their, their close proximity to us to throw around a few poison globes. He resisted, but that's okay. That one hit. Okay, got one more, right there, and then he's gonna back away. Also right now behind him because he's the one in the ambush stance. So let's go right there. Okay, he can't shoot much from up there yet, I think, maybe. Well, he actually might be able to already, we'll see. It. Puts them at a bit of a risky spot, though, because there's nothing to keep them from from attacking him, basically. But it's worth it. I'm going to go with the crippling shot. It's costing me an attack, yes, but still. Uh, reducing the offense points there seems like the smart thing to do. And he's already halfway dead, and we haven't even... Uh, we haven't even really started things yet. So let's go spit back up and in a dodge stance. And th this guy is also one of our targets that we need to hit. So there are multiple reasons for this. Let's delay here. Just see if the guy that we need to kill comes closer. Yes, we might take damage because of this. But I think I'd be okay with that. So let's set up the defense for him, basically. Just do this. Just be up here. Might come for him now, but we sh uh, it should keep our ranged guy safe and it should make it a one-on-one -on -one engagement. Foul miss, that's fine. Yep, looks like he's moving up here. We charge him. Good. He misses, so now I might be able to even kill him. 
No, not quite yet. But he's one hit away. And that means we can take him down quickly now. That's a good opener. Okay, ah, the third guy we need to kill went back there. That's not... Oh, is that the guy we need to kill, the third guy? No, it isn't. Tisn't. Bummer. Okay, sneak. Sure, just charge. That's fine. Then we take Objective the token. Completed. Objectives updated. And then I move back to here. Oh no, this is too scary right now. I think we go back to here. An ambush, so they are a bit oddly placed over there now, especially since he's dead. Um, so the, the, the flagellant there, so they can potentially go attack there. But that's something we have to live with, I guess. So these guys are going to be useful in a moment now, I think, though, because we can use them to go for this guy, hopefully. Okay, nice. He just puts himself closer, but not quite in range. Let's see. There we go. Also just closer, but not quite in range. Yeah, that means I will have to engage in all likelihood as long as these guys don't charge forward now, which hopefully they will. Especially the 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 the, the second henchman there, the, the second flagellant in the poison cloud there. Um, that's the initiative step 43 there. If he were to to get into range now, that would be quite lovely. And they really don't know that this group exists right now still. So we can go in there. We might even be able to steal their idol to drop their morale a little bit quicker. Uh, just in case we need to. So this could work out fine. Really? Still the guy? Doesn't really move? Okay, Ashkin. A bit worried about this one. But we could let ourselves get charged by him. But then there's also this guy. So I think I'm going to delay once. Which might cost me my ability to get into combat this round with him, but that would be okay. But I just want to see what he does first, because if I have to deal with two guys here with two-handed weapons, I'm going to be toast. So he goes up there and misses. So that's a good spot, though. That's a perfect spot for us, basically. We've got our ranged option. We've got Pasknik there. We've got somebody else. Okay, he's running through a poison globe, so that means he is back in closer. Did he run through a poison globe? That's what it looked like. So we could make ourselves known with these guys now, and we probably have to. So yeah, let's go out in the open and see. Well, maybe we'll... I think going back here is still... Oh yeah, wow, okay, that is... I'm gonna, gonna try to spot where he is. So he went down there, okay. So that means going in there would be a liability, which means we'll go over here instead. Yeah, that's better. It will keep us out of the fight a little bit longer. It's a longer way to move, I believe, but it's okay. So can we... I could climb up there, or try to at least, but I'm not sure we would be able to make it in there. Oh, nice, we can get in here, though. I'm not sure anybody else will be able to attack there if it comes to this, but that's okay. I will just take my two normal hits, not go with the mighty blow, uh, the, the the strong blow or the jaw strike. Much rather have my counter attack either against this guy or one of the ones that are gonna attack us. Um, 
because we're just a little bit weirdly placed right now. Uh, so now things are going to get very, very interesting very, very quickly. A there new is round not has much left to speculation here, I believe. But he also might be... Yeah, I mean, right now he definitely is in a good spot to take these shots. So let's just focus down this guy. We just want the uh, want his his token as quickly as possible, and then we'll work from there. Nice. We even got the stun. That's better. I think Jesus is not gonna hit him though. Yeah, we'll just leave that. I think I'll delay right now. Want to see if their uh, one warrior priest comes into range. So Haxit is still on his way back to deposit the clusters. Not sure we're going to be able to get another round of Wordstone, but... Well, one more should be doable, I think. So we'll just jump back down right here. Oh, nice. Even made it successfully. And then next round might put him close enough already to pick up more. Let's hope so. Let us hope so. Um, yeah, good. He comes closer. And he's actually in a decent spot. Not necessarily one I appreciate, but he only wears a dagger as well. So I'm going to let myself... Am I going to let myself get charged here? Put him closer to us. Much more controlled environment as well. Yeah, I think we're wanna. Yeah, there we go. So. I mean, might as well go for the vital strikes. Not like we have a different option here. We get a crit stun on the first one instantly. Isn't that nice? And another crit. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I forgot how good Sneak is with that. As well. And that's a lot of damage as well. On top of everything. Might as well use Warp Poison. Sure. That's fine. And then he can go in there and... Deal more damage there as well. So unfortunately, he won't be able to dodge, which does come with some issues. They are right there, and there are some high damage units right there. So uh, we're looking at some potential problems here, but hopefully we will be able to survive. We got a few more crits on him. I think two more. So his hit chance, assuming he gets another round, which I assume he won't, could be something. So... Crippling shot back there. Yes, we want to reduce his offense points. Reload. And then I think I am going to move and try to get a crippling shot on the guy back there as well. Thank you so much. And that's basically it. Okay, that's unfortunately not going to be enough to get the kill. I thought it might be, and that would have been good for Pasknik, but I, I overestimated how much damage he could deal, and I also changed my mind about what to shoot with with the uh, with Jesus. Come on, fifty-eight. That's the leader. Rice. Okay, yeah, he's also going to move through here. Good. So yeah, it's. I'm happy that we can stand our own with just five guys there. We have Haxit basically not doing anything, since he's just going for Wordstone, and then these three just taking their sweet time getting there. Okay, he goes for Sneak, sure. Uh, but just one hit. So it's good that we can they, they, they didn't rush us basically. Otherwise we would be looking uh, at a much harder situation right now. They are moving in now. 
but by now we have built up a little bit of a advantage positioning wise as well as combat wise i think and that should help quite a bit if he goes for a sneak as well now it could turn into a bit of a problem but we'll see okay just ambushes there that one i don't quite understand Uh, that could get the kill instantly, if I get lucky. It didn't, but the other one had no chance of really getting that, so I might as well just, just try. Uh, would have given me at least one option there. Okay, let's loot. Take that token. Objective so we need completed. one more. Objectives updated. You're right there. Yeah, I'm going to let myself get charged by him as well. Yeah, I mean, not that I could have avoided it, apparently, I think. But still, he's not going to get his extra attacks right now. We'll have a have a web of steel ready next round, and that way he can't go completely nuts. Stupidity success. Good. So we want him to show up, of course. Ah, he's in heavy armor, though. But he's in a good spot that I can hit him with my other guys. But if he climbs up, it's going to be a problem. So hopefully he won't be able to make that. Because there is room for him to climb up there. Fails that spell cast. Come on. Okay. Right now he's not doing much. Perfect. Okay. These guys hopefully can get attacked by him. Yes. I think we will be good. Or just charge him instead. Let's go as far down as we can and then charge from here. We missed, but that's okay. All we need right now is a start on him. We don't... We're gonna make him our focus target soon enough. The issue right now is that with the... Yeah, with these guys moving in now, I have less and less movable parts. But I also have my ranged guys up there that I can use to, to shoot him. They're right above him. But I think the angle will still work out. And then we have Sir Killalot now as well. Who is gonna go over here also and just start whacking him. So now the question is how quickly is their morale going to drop and is there going to be a lot of pressure on my guys or are we good? There is a lot of combat going on so right now I can't really, I can't be certain yet how that's going to develop. A new we'll have to wait and see started. if I get a crit for example somewhere or no. So we probably still should focus him down, just to take the pressure of our two damaged guys down there. So we'll use Raticate in that capacity, but at least Jesus, I think, will just go straight up for that. Nice, we got the critical, so we took him down. Perfect. That means we don't have to waste an additional attack on him. And I forgot about the Warp Poison again, but, ah, well, we know that by now. Huh, so, let me think, or let me take a look here. No, so first of all, I hope this guy can't charge us from back there. We'll take this one. I think we might be able to reach the guy back there. If we can make it past him, and we can. But we can't make it past him, so we're blocked right now. Okay, so we'll we'll keep him down here. And we will support this instead. Yeah, so he is under pressure here, which means we need to take that away if we can. Sure. So Warp Poison. Go in armor break and then we'll just hit him as much as we can basically hope that we get a crit maybe i should have delayed and let him get the uh, get to attack first but i mean now i can get two guaranteed hits against this guy which might take him down as well so i'm i'm not against that let's delay once with him because if we get the kill on the on the witch hunter we can move the Globadier at the end uh, again, basically. Okay, all the interactions. Let's start with the cluster, and then we'll pick up a lot of shards. Might be able to fill up our inventory without moving further as well, so I can 
already start my way back. Not that I think we're gonna get back to our cart, but you never know. They might make a lot of route checks. And we... Oh, well, misclick. Uh, and we haven't found their leader yet. Well, we've seen him, apparently, but I don't think we're in combat with him yet. So we still have to wait for him, and as long as we don't take down him and all the heroes, they might make their route checks. Okay, and here we go. Even though there's still a bunch of words don't still around, we've already got so much. It's just 10 pieces, but it's high quality. It's so good. It's six clusters and four shards. So, we can shoot this one. So we are going to, with as many aims as we can. He's the last guy we need for the optional objective. Aim. Again, good. Another one. So we get one more, and that's with an aim as well. And yeah, good. So, three hits on him. We can move Trice in as well, in a moment. You're still in here. Now I can sidestep those, so two, three, three, yeah, let's just go with a two vital strike. Hope that we get two crits, we don't though. So he's most likely going to survive this. Yep, he's got eight hit points left right now, unfortunately. But maybe we can still get him? I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see right now how this works out. I I think we... Yeah, we can. Okay, he can move down there and, and get the kill. Good, so we'll move Pasknik to here, get the kill. He needs the experience anyway, so why not? Then we use him to loot as well, take both swords. And then we can go hit him as well. So I'll just attack him from behind though. And there we go. So now he will have to check for all of them, assuming that guy up there does not now attack Sneak again, which might happen. But he might also go support the um, the Warrior Priest. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, try CS goes in here. So he will go down this round. I think that's a guarantee. We've got just the other, the, the, the two warp guards both getting their turns there. Hopefully we will not block or, or be blocked there. Yeah, this is going to hurt now, though. Maybe get one parry. Thank you. Because he gets four attacks. We do have a good amount of armor absorption, but he it's still, he gets four attacks and that does add up. But he, we parried one, he missed one, so we're, we're good. And then he dodges. Interesting. I would have expected a parry out of him having a shield and a sword and heavy armor. But what do I know? So where did we... Okay, there's the leader. Okay, he is melee. Two one-handed weapons. Can he make it into combat? He can. Ooh, yeah, that's scary. Oh, Trice might go down. Yeah. We do have that henchman right there now. Possibly also just going into Trice. And if he does that, that's not going to be pretty. Let's see what he's going to do, though. Stimulus. He's already looking over there. I don't like that. Okay, he goes down here. That's fine, honestly. I'm not sure why he didn't attack us. Because I'm pretty sure he would have been able to. But let's not let's not question this. Let's just be fine with it. Really? We missed with both? I mean, right now, this is just... He's supposed to soak up damage. He's not necessary to kill him. Uh, the, we're going to get there. But this one is the, the important one. So good thing is he's not focusing Trice right now, so he's probably going to survive this. But that does hinge on the fact that we get to kill him now and drop their morale low enough that they will have to check for routing and lose. So there's a lot of ifs in that statement, as you might have noticed. But we'll see, <laughs> I guess. 
Sure, let's hit him with a strong blow. Ah, bummer. So Killalot still should deal enough damage that we're going to be fine here. But we'll see now. And he will still have to check for all alone. He makes it, though. Okay. Something USB-related just went away on my PC, and I'm confused as to what, because I'm not sure what could have disconnected here. And I'm a bit worried that, for some reason, it was my microphone, and you guys don't hear me anymore, because that's it's, it's plugged in via USB. <laughs> I don't know, but it does worry me a teensy bit. So, loot... Take both. Objective completed. So, as of right now, we have the optional objective. We want him attacking there, though, I believe, which means we will go attack their leader. Yeah, we need somebody that can take a beating to be next to him in case they make their route check. And Gorizon also fills that bill. And both of them have their Rebel Steel. And that just... A new I think makes it a started. good idea to just do that. Okay, yeah. War Poison. Let's see. We do have Line of Sight there. 74. Nope, that's a miss. But I always like to take it. As long as it's an okay amount of risk that I'm taking there, and 74% was a good enough chance, I think. Just for the higher crit chance. You can't... If you don't get it, you don't get it. But it was a 3 out of 4 chance to hit there. So I I went for it. Okay, bummer. Didn't make that. And I'm taking this, uh, this climb instead of the one back there, even though it would be closer, because this one is easier since it's a shorter climb. The bigger climbs are more difficult, so I'm sacrificing this little bit of backtracking here, basically, or we're, we're living with that, in favor of uh, having a better climb chance to begin with. Okay, you go in there. Ah, crap. I should have gone with one normal hit first, so now I can't go for another armor break reliably, so we'll just go hit there. We need to get the kill here basically. Stun is a good start. And I get one more hit. And then all of the guys next to him also get to act before any of theirs do. So hopefully we can we can survive this. So what I'm also going to do is disengage and take a weird risk in the form of yeah, letting ourselves get charged by him. That's a lot of damage. But I don't want him attacking there, so I'd much rather have this going on right now. Can I... We can shoot the stun guy, and so we should, I think. That will free up Sneak, and then we can use him to go after their leader, for example. It's a bit of a risk, because he's also took, uh, taken a bunch of damage already, but he still... He will make it there with... Uh, he will make it there with Sidestep available, I think. And he also could crit him. All of which just sounds good right now. I'm a bit worried though, of course, since he could go down if he gets hit too much. But we're gonna try. Oh boy. And they're not at routing yet, by the way. So this... Uh, okay, we got the crit, but didn't get the stun. So this gets even more scary. Oh boy. We're not done yet, though. I can deal more damage to him. We also have Pasknik. Another one that I don't necessarily want to, t uh, want to get damaged with, but... Let's just go for the damage overload here. See that we get as much as possible. Every hit could lead to a stun. 
And that'll just need to be enough. Trice is going to disengage, though, I believe. He also can't. Okay, sure. Um, so, if he fails his route check now, we're good. If he doesn't, we might be screwed. Everybody does have at least one chance. Well, everybody has two but one of these. Yep, he makes it. We dodge, good, and that was a vital strike, so that's gonna cost him a bit more. Hitting sneak, that's not good, but... Yeah, he'll only get two attacks because he used the vital strike. Nice. Um, this guy could be a problem, though. We don't know where he is, so if... Yep, there he comes. Okay, just ambushes, though. But that's fine. Nice dodge. So we avoid him going down, possibly. But that's all the remaining enemies, enemies there are, isn't it? Good miss. Already means we get three hits at the most. Another miss. Why is his hit chance so bad? That's the question you should ask. Because I have no idea. And there's the dodge stance. Once again, a bit confusing, but okay. Good. I mean, now we might as well just go for the mighty blow. I don't think we'll get another round. And he's gonna be one of our next targets now anyways. Okay, keep dealing damage. Just keep dealing damage. He doesn't dodge. That's perfect. Same thing here with the strong blow, although we are basically guaranteed the kill here. Sir Killal is just gonna finish him now. I think there's uh, nothing that's gonna change that, as long as I don't miss twice now, which could happen, of course. It's not unheard of. Don't really want to get charged back there, so we'll just move in here, get the all alone going, basically. And see about that. But now they do have to check. A new round has started. We could, of course, also go for more wordstone, but I don't think we really need to with this. Okay, 80% once again good enough for me. But we miss again. Ah oh, well, what can you do? <laughs> Might as well go for the war poison though. It's still um, it's really embarrassing that I keep forgetting about that and I don't I just don't understand why. It's it, it doesn't make sense. What this will do though is it will cost him one attack, so that's at least something. And then Haxit is just gonna deposit that. I don't think he would really be be of any use up there now as well, and why bother with that? Uh, so might as well just go for the the safe stuff. But we won't get more words done now, I think. I could try to get more down there, but we'll just uh, we'll just take our damage basically and see if we can kill all of them. Also okay with going for that, just because we haven't done so was done so for a very long time and mm, I don't think we'll be able to make it work mostly because the Templar Knight just has heavy armor and a lot of hit points and then we still have one more henchman that's completely full in terms of hit points okay ooh yeah I need to be careful with this guy back there so sneak I guess we go in attacking here as well and I go for a charge Yeah. Nice crit. And then... You know what? Nah, he's gonna level up regardless, I think, so... Why bother? Just, just knock him out. And then what is left for us? Uh, no words done. That's what's left for us. So let's move away. Just get him out of the danger zone. On the off chance that they're going to make this one more time. I probably should just shoot the guy back there. 
probably don't even need an aim. Yeah, there we go. Do need some help on the Templar Knight, though, but we'll get it. We'll get it. I think. I also assume that they're going to fail their route check, though. But we have seen wonders happen, and it could still end badly for us if they get to go again. But we don't know. We'll see. <sighs> I'm actually not sure if he's going to get the help or no. Because we have these two, and I think I should use Pasknik to go attack him instead of him. Ashkin will have to survive the damage, and I think he should be able to. So I'd much rather get charged by him or charge him. Ideally charge him myself in this case, I think. Just avoid the damage. It means we won't get a second attack against him, but that's okay. It does still do its job, and I can still sidestep. And the one going next also gets to force him to check for all alone then. So here we go. So in case they make their route check, this guy will still have to check. And if he runs away, we might be able to kill him. I don't think so. We don't really deal a lot of damage with these guys, but it, who knows? We'll see. But they fail it, of course. They had a 44% chance to make it, so it wasn't zero. Yeah, wow. Okay, that was... And we got seven more shards. My goodness. Brave, bold warband is sneaky yeah, I didn't strong. I didn't even pay attention Let's to this, but it really Wordstone. shows that it was exceptional yes. Wordstone that we had there. To murder lord. Tell him much, much. Warband, climb, sneak, high far. <laughs> high far. There we go, max rank for him. And nice. Okay, anything else? A few more formulas, but no master one. Still good though, 294 up to 439, my god. <laughs> Took us two days to get all the wordstone back, basically, that I've... that I sent away. Okay, nice, yeah. <laughs> good thing we jumped into the action right away, because this one took quite a while still. Uh, so, this is where we're going to end today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more and more time, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you will tune in next time, and have a nice day. Bye, guys.